What's going on graphic designers, video editors, motion designers, photographers, whatever it might be in the creative space. If that's you, then you are in the right place. My name is Benji Kaiser, and today we're talking about the Asus Republic of Gamer Strix G versus the Asus Republic of Gamer Strix Hero 3. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This channel is focused primarily on helping graphic designers get started and maximize their career in the graphic design industry. And this video is sponsored by Computer Upgrade Kings. They have hooked us up with these two machines to run this review. And if you want a discount on any of these machines or any machine over at Computer Upgrade Kings, you can use the discount code BEN3. Also, if you wanna know the exact specs and pricing as we're going through this video, you can grab an affiliate link below. I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. The first thing I wanna talk about is the usability. Both of these machines are 17 inch computers. That lends to a little less on the go lifestyle. Um, makes a really good video editing and graphic design computer though. You get a lot of screen space. Both these machines are 97% RGB, so fantastic color accuracy on that RGB gamut range, and they have a refresh rate of 144 hertz. So that makes it great if you're gonna do some side gaming on these machines. Both of these have really well-equipped GPUs. Um, the Hero 3 is gonna make it a little bit faster. If you like to kind of use that as some relaxed time, some chill time, these computers will handle gaming very well. That's not my expertise, so I'm not gonna dive deep into that, um, but they are suited for gaming. Um, these are gaming machines. So they make a great hybrid between video editing, graphic design, multimedia design, and some chill time. Just throwing out that perspective, because I want you to know that I am thinking of you, but it's just not my expertise. We're here for graphic design, video editing, and all those creative fields. All right, next thing I wanna talk about, and this has been an upgrade to the Strix 3 and the Strix G, um, is the new hinge. This is something I did not expect them to update. The previous hinge was, was good, uh, it just wasn't great, and it lended to a little bit too much screen flex for my personal preference. These new hinges are a little bit chunkier, and I don't mean that they get in the way, I just mean they're more solid. The other ones were a little on the flimsy side. So this to me lends to the fact that Asus is really keeping an eye on their machines and making sure that the build quality is up to par. The Asus Republic of Gamer Strix Hero 3 has the aluminum top cover and that glowing RGB symbol, that, that fierce Asus face that they got going on. Um, whereas the Strix G only has like aluminum symbol. It doesn't glow or change colors or anything. Same with the keyboard. The Hero 3 has the glowing keyboard where the numbers change colors and that RGB is really customizable. Whereas the Strix G, it does glow, but it glows out from the side of the keys. It doesn't come straight through the keys. The keys are just a simple white uh, letter number symbol on top. They both have the RGB wrap, which goes around 270 degrees. Makes the computer kind of look like it's floating, which is pretty neat. Um, and I like it because it pushes the light down. It doesn't throw it up into your eyes, so it's not distracting. It just has a really neat glow as you're working on your computer. Um, another thing that I really think is important is the way the keyboard types. And this keyboard is very smooth. It has a softness to it, which I like. I don't like when keyboards are too chunky. Um, I think the keyboard feels very nice. I'll even... It's nice and quiet. It's not too loud. I reviewed a computer a couple months ago and it was just like... <laughs> Uh, so this computer is really good. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is the ports. What do you use your computer for on the day-to-day? -day? I like to have as many ports as possible on my computer. I like to have multiple screens set up. I'm always plugging in SD cards. I'm always plugging in different HDMI cords if I'm doing live streaming. So there's some different options that I need for my computer. This computer is well equipped outside of one port that I'm personally sad that they removed, but it might not be a big deal for you, and that's the SD card slot. Now, if you are a video editor or photographer, you can buy an adapter and plug that in, uh, but for me, I personally like to see a SD card slot on my computer. Another thing that surprised me is there's no webcam. This frees up a lot of space and makes the bezels a lot thinner, um, but it's still 
shocked me. Um, a lot of computers, almost all computers come with webcams as a standard, but I guess this is something they just didn't see as a need uh, for this machine, which personally I'm okay with. I really don't ever use my webcam. Um, so that's up to you if that's something that you're gonna be missing. Another thing that's pretty interesting between these two machines is the screens are exactly the same size, just the way they distribute the screen and the bezel is different. So as you see between these two machines, uh, one's gonna be a little bit thicker at the top, a little bit thinner at the bottom, one's gonna be a little thinner at the bottom, a little bit thicker at the top. Um, so I thought that was interesting the way that they distributed the screen sizes. Overall, like I said, machines are really well built. They're gonna be extremely similar with the ports. And as you saw, I listed the ports on the screen earlier. Um, so really the big difference is, is some of the build materials and the internals uh, are slightly different. But we're gonna talk about that in a minute when we jump into the performance. Actually, we're not even gonna wait a minute because we're gonna make this a faster video. So let's jump into the performance right now. I like to run three tests. I like to run, how does it export? How does it render? And what type of Photoshop speeds are we gonna be getting? I feel like those are the three really main benchmarks that help me tell if this computer is a well-performing machine. The first one I wanna run is the rendering test. The Strix Hero 3 can render 3,330 frames in one minute and 46 seconds, which is actually the fastest computer that I've ever tested on this channel. I was really blown away by this RTX 2070. The Strix G can render that same amount of frames in two minutes and 21 seconds. So pretty comparable, but if you think about it on an exponential scale, if you're rendering tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of frames, that almost minute can make a big difference when you scale uh, the amount of frames you're rendering. So the big separator between these two machines is gonna be the rendering time. All right, so the next test I wanna look at is taking a 4K file, putting it into Premiere Pro, and then exporting it out into 4K YouTube settings. This is a nine minute clip, and it will export this clip in six minutes and 54 seconds. Both machines will do the exact same export speed. If you wanna boost up your speeds, make it a little bit faster, you can take that same 4K clip, export it 1080p, and you're gonna do that in two minutes and 26 seconds. So both these machines are very quick. Uh, I was very impressed by them. They definitely put my Dell XPS 15 to shame, uh, but I mean, that's what these computers are built for. They're very powerful machines. So if you need something like that, you're in the right spot. All right, so for graphic designers, uh, we're gonna be using InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, and I like to really test this in Photoshop. So what I do is I take a raw photo file, I boost it up to about two gigs just by making it really, really big, and then I try and uh, save that file out as a full quality JPEG. And this, both machines, should I say, did this in 10 seconds, which is substantially faster than my Dell XPS 15. My Dell XPS 15 does that same task in about 45 seconds. So those i7 ninth generation processors are really sweet. I mean, they're fast. So that workflow is gonna be way faster um, with these machines. All right, so the last thing that there is to look at is the head-to-head -head comparison in the specs. And as I said, the main difference is gonna be that GPU. Um, so the Hero 3 is gonna have the RTX 2070 by NVIDIA, and the Strix G is gonna have the GTX 1660 Ti. Um, so those GPUs are gonna make some slight differences, but mainly in the rendering time. A lot of people ask me, okay, well, what would you recommend? I would recommend for video editors, the Hero 3, it's gonna boost that rendering time. It's gonna give you really fast playbacks. So you're not gonna get bogged down. If you're gonna want to, you know, maybe working in Photoshop and rendering at the same time, you're gonna have the performance necessary to do multiple tasks to boost your workflow. If you're a graphic designer and you really don't need to be doing a ton of rendering, but you know, you want that option. If you wanna do some video editing on the side, I would go with the Strix G. If you are curious about the exact prices of the models discussed in this video, you can head down in the description below, grab one of those affiliate links. Again, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And I'm actually gonna get you a discount because Ben3 is the discount code you can use over at Computer Upgrade Kings to save you some money on this machine or any other machine over on Computer Upgrade Kings. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you here on the next one.